What's up, what's up guys? Okay, so I apologize about not making a video in a while. It's been really busy on my end, but I wanted to put this video out there. Um, last week, we did some back testing in one of our classes for the opening range breakout. And if you don't know what that is, it's essentially playing off of the range of the first five minute candle that a stock forms. And so when you trade it, you document the high and low of that first five minute candle like so, and then you wait for it to break that first opening range. In this case, the high would be right up here at 1773, and the low would be at 1743 down here. And in this case, you're looking for a one-to-one -one reward to risk ratio on this. And so your risk, if it broke on the upside, would be down here at this 1743 area and if it broke down on the downside your risk would be up here at this 1773 area and since the stock broke on the upside you would be entering the stock right here after the break and you give yourself a one-to-one -one reward to risk ratio and so if your risk is down here your reward would be right around up here for the equivalent of that first five minute candle down here and now I got some pretty promising results from this uh, and we can review the back testing results I had now. So you can see here, I tested it over a three month time span from October 1st to January 4th and specifically on the stock AMD. And now the back testing results I got from this were 47 successful attempts and only 15 failures, giving this stock an accuracy rate with this strategy of 76%. And that's actually a pretty incredible accuracy rate, really, really high, even though you're only getting a one-to-one -one reward to risk ratio on these type of trades. And that was really interesting as well, and it definitely has some potential. And so I wanted to test it a little bit further. One thing I noticed with this type of strategy is that a lot of times it continues in the breakout direction, like you can see here on AMD, for the rest of the day. And so that's actually what I tested on how many times the stock broke this high and had a successful opening range breakout and then actually continued in the breakout direction without triggering your risk for the remainder of the day. And you can see here I have some results from that as well. Uh, for the second back testing session, I only really did two months from November 1st to January 4th. But you can see here, again, it showed me a pretty decent accuracy rate. Uh, 24 successful attempts and only 16 fails, giving me a 60% accuracy rate with the stock continuing in the breakout direction for the remainder of the day. And while that accuracy rate is a little bit lower than the first one, you know, this is going to give you so much better reward to risk ratio, much better one to one most of the time. And so I definitely think that had potential as well. But something else I noticed when I was testing this continuation pattern is that a lot of the time, right around noon market time, the stock would reverse. And it probably has to do with people just getting exhausted and the stock getting exhausted, volume dying down, causing the stock to reverse some. And so I wanted to test that as well. And I actually did test it. And you can see the results from that here continues in the breakout direction up until noon market time and that actually gave me a little bit better accuracy rate with 66 percent um, with 24 successful attempts and 12 failures and so I definitely think this has potential and I just wanted to update you guys on this video and so we'll see how that goes I've actually um, you know opened up a TD Ameritrade paper account and I'm going to be paper trading this on stream to test this strategy and if I have a few successful weeks of paper trading where I've made money in my paper account I'll probably then transition to live money and I'll update you guys along the way and I'll finish uh, this video tomorrow after my first paper trading session. Okay, so overall today was a pretty good day. I had a small gain on TEFs with a VWAP fade on NBEV. Uh, you can see the fade right here. Uh, you can see it faded really nicely, washed out really nicely for me, and I was able to get a small gain with small sizing on NBEV, and I'm really happy with that. Uh, but the opening range breakout worked extremely well on AMD today. You can see I'm letting this run until noon, but I'm already up a decent amount with 2,000 shares on this paper trade. Uh, I really wanted to use 1,000 shares. It accidentally filled me twice and so really it's about a five to six hundred dollar gain with a thousand shares with this nice opening range breakout you can see in this case uh, my inch my 
entry would have been right down here at about 2093 and my risk would have been up here at 2125 like I said I had a little bit of trouble getting filled there but this would have been my risk and this would have been my entry um, and so overall it would have worked out extremely well today and definitely some promising results from this strategy and now we'll see what we get for the rest of the week if it is a really profitable week using this opening range breakout strategy I'll probably then transition to loot to using real and live money on my TEFs account and we'll see how that goes as well but overall it was definitely a good day for this strategy and definitely shows some potential moving forward but yeah I'll try to post a daily video updating you all on how this strategy and testing is turning out just so you can keep track of everything along with me if you don't watch the stream also, TradeNet is having their New Year's sale going on right now, and so you get 20% off TradeNet packages, and so if you're interested in using the broker that Mitch and I use, you can check out TradeNet, and I'll post that link in the description of this video for you to go check out. But anyways, that's it for this video, so make sure to hit that subscribe button, show your love by liking this video, and good luck in the markets. We'll see you all tomorrow morning. Thanks for watching, all.